usual, we're going to always start off with my sound off. Now, this one might be a little longer sound off than usual um, because I'm pretty pissed off about what I saw. Not even really what I saw last night on the field. What I saw on the field last night was predictable. Uh, anybody with a set of eyes can see what the fuck was going to happen to the Bears last night. I'm tired of the shit I've been seeing uh, in the media, uh, Chicago media, uh, more specifically. Uh, and y'all know who y'all are. Um, the, uh, the national media with the whole Tyson badging thing, man. And it is, uh, you know, I don't like to quote unquote, you know, always bring race and stuff, but we gotta, we gotta just keep it real of what this situation is, man. It's bullshit that you're seeing. What you're seeing right now is a blatant attempt to try to run Justin Fields out of Chicago. Um, this is an unfair, uh, thing to both not Justin Fields, but also to Tyson Badgett. Tyson Badgett is an okay backup quarterback. What he did last night is what backup quarterbacks usually do when opposing defenses have now four quarters of actual play to study up on. As you pick up on their tendencies, you know when to stop them. He had only two. He had uh, two interceptions last night, only one touchdown. Maybe he could have he could have had more, but he also could have threw five picks. It was that type of night yesterday. So this is not a, before I get fully into it. This is not a, a Tyson Badgett um, hate fest. This is not anything to do with Tyson Badgett. I was in that interview press room last night when after the loss, he did a good thing and he owned it up. You know what I'm saying? And, and he will be uh, starting again this Sunday in New Orleans against that even tougher Saints defense. So this is not about Tyson Badgett. This is about the blatant attempt to try to hit a uh, Montreal screw job on Justin Fields. I don't understand how you've got paid, well-respected journalists or announcers, guys like Chris Collinsworth, who I respect, by the way. Chris Collinsworth, all-time announcer of my book. I like what he does. But to go up there and say that Justin Fields can learn a two thing or two from Tyson Badgett. Tell me, what the fuck is the CEO supposed to learn from the goddamn intern? A explain that shit to me. You know, you're going to hit with, with, with the blatant uh, handing of Tyson Badgett like this guy is just some superstar. Is it a cool story? Yes, it's a cool story. The fact he even made it to this position in the NFL needs to be applauded. Congratulations to that. But to go up there and to comp continuously say these negative things about Justin Fields, and I don't fully blame these people. This is coming from up top. Let's just cut the bullshit. I can say what I want because there's not a company that I work for that they, that they pay me and I can't say certain things. The, the shit is coming from up top. It's coming from the people in that building who are out here and they're saying, basically, we're done with Justin Fields. We want nothing else to do with him. He had his shot and he blew it. Well, in their minds, they blew it. And we're going to go on to the next best thing, which we don't even know is the next best thing. What is the next best thing for the Bears? They don't do anything but ruin shit. We can sit up here, hope they get a Caleb Williams. Hope they get a Drake May just for them to be the next goddamn victim because you don't know how to make an actual infrastructure to make things better for your young quarterback. Am I going to sit up here and ignore how Justin Fields is playing, not just this season, but really his whole time in Chicago? No. If you follow me on Twitter, if you've listened to anything or watched anything that I've said on this show, is that Justin Fields honestly is just to blame with the way he's been playing because he's very inconsistent. But at the same time, the coaching needs to be better. The coaching, Matt Eberflus is 5-20. and 20. But those of you doing the, the records back at home, that is the worst record for a coach in the 105-year history of this shitty-ass organization in the first 25 games. And do, do I need to name the number of shitty coaches this team has had? That is really saying something. I can go really, really long-winded on this thing, but it's at the end of the day, it's like this. It's nasty work. It's nasty work from the media, and it's nasty work for your fans. I got something to say about, about Bears fans. That's a good 25 to 30 percent of them who are really good, who are really good people, have good interactions with them. They listen to 79th and Hollis. They have good banter. I fuck with y'all. But the other 75 percent of you stupid motherfuckers, I can't fucking stand. And you can you can quote me on that one. You don't know the game of football. You don't know what the fuck you're watching. You're going out here and you're basically praising the dude for one start. Even when Justin Fields throws touchdowns, you go off here and say, well, ah, that was a bad pass. Let me say the same thing about Tyson Badgett. I got called everything but a child of God on my Twitter mentions. I got called everything but a goddamn baboon last night by a lot of you racist-ass fans. And I don't like to actually, you know, split lines. We got to call like it is. A lot of y'all don't want a, a quarterback who's a little bit darker than you might be. You want this guy. 
And like I said, this is nothing against Tyson Badgett. It is the situation. And I'm honestly fed up for it. The Bears organization and the Bears fan base do not deserve to be bailed out by another draft pick. I Y'all call me a bad fan all y'all want. I have no more emotional attachment to this team. You can't sit up here and call me a bad friend after all the bullshit I didn't watch Sunday after Sunday after Sunday with this fucking team. Talking about, oh, well, you're a Justin Fields fan. Who are you to go out here and be rooting against others? I'm not rooting against others. I'm rooting against you niggas. I want you niggas to fail. I want you niggas to cry. I'm tired of the shit. Like, we got to call it what it is, man. You motherfuckers are losers, okay? That's exactly what the fuck y'all are, man. I'm getting tired of it. And I know my brother's going to get mad at me for saying this shit because I know a lot of y'all listen to our podcast. And I fuck with the actual people who actually listen to the podcast and want to hear what we got to say. For the rest of y'all, y'all can kiss my ass.